Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial we will learn how to find the missing number for numbers up to 30 and we're going to do this for subtraction questions. Now in the previous tutorial we used the vertical format. In this tutorial we're going to use a slightly different method. Now let's have a look at the examples we're going to be working through. We've got 28 minus something equals 19. 28 minus something equals 19. And the second example we have is something, that's a missing number, minus 11 equals 15. Okay, something minus 11 equals 15. Now, if we have a look at example 1, we've got 28 minus something equals 19. So, therefore, we have to find the missing number, and I'll just change colors for this, over here, which we have to subtract from 28 to equal 19. Alternatively, we have to find the number which we can add to 19 to make it equal to 28. Now, that sounds a little bit confusing. We're going to go back to our old system, which is we're going to swap these two around, and you'll understand what I mean by this. 28 minus 19 equals the missing number. 28 minus 19 equals the missing number. Now, how are we going to do this? Well, we can use the vertical format. There is a slightly different method we can use, which is we're going to add the numbers to 19 to make it equal to 28. Okay, so let's start with the units. How many units have we got? We've got nine units. How many units do we need to get to? The target is eight. So if we're adding to nine to make it equal to eight, well actually it's going to be the next number which has got 18 as the units. Okay, we're on nine. We want to make it equal to eight. Okay, we can't do eight. So we're going to look at the next number, which has got 8 as the units, and that is 18. So 9 plus what equals 18? The answer is 9. 9 plus 9 is 18. And because it's 18, we're going to carry 1 over. So we're going to just change colors for this bit. So the tens column now, we're on the tens. How many tens do we have? Well, we don't have 1. We carried 1 over, so we've got 2. How many tens do we need to get to? Well, we need to get to 2. So we're already at 2. So we don't need to add anything here. So we have reached our answer. It is 9. Let's write this down. 28 minus 19 equals 9. 28 minus 9 in the original question equals 19. Now you're probably thinking this is a slightly longer method than the vertical format. Well, it is. However, when you start using larger numbers and you have to find the missing number of, say, three or four digits, this method will come in handy because you'll be able to do this without any workings, okay? Just purely mental arithmetic. We'll come on to that at a later stage. Okay, so we've done the first one. We're now on to the second one. Here we've got the missing number minus 11 equals 15. So what do we do? We need to get the box, the missing number, on one side of the equal sign. We need to get the numbers on the other side. So what do we do? We're going to take the 11 and we're going to move it over here. Okay, we're going to move that across. So the question will then read, the missing number equals, and we've got 15, and this time we've got plus 11, okay? If it's minus over here, when you take it across, it becomes a plus. So 15 plus 11. So we are now ready to go ahead and do the addition in this case. It's going to be addition. Okay. So what you can do is, first of all, add the units. 5 plus 1 equals 6. You can then add the tens. We've got 1 plus 1. So 10 plus 10 equals 20. So therefore, the answer is 26. Okay, it's 26. 15 plus 11 is 
26. Now write this in the original question. We've got 26 minus 11 equals 15. Okay, then that was very straightforward. If you didn't understand any part of that, replay the tutorial and keep going through it until you fully understand the two different concepts. So that is how we find the missing number for numbers up to 30 for subtraction questions.